This is a free webinar, and what we're going to do is give a taste of some of the content of our UK Lean Summit. Um, my name's Dave Brunt, and I manage the activity at Lean Enterprise Academy. Um, just a reminder, um, LEA is a not-for-profit that was set up by Dan Jones over 20 years ago to help customers become more self-reliant on their lean journey. Uh, do take a look at the website. It explains our history, what we're researching, how we work with partners, and all of our learning, teaching, and coaching, and sharing activities. Um, the summits are conference that we developed to help people learning and implementing lean thinking. Uh, it's really our key in-person activity during the year, uh, and it just helps delegates by sharing how lean can be used to solve the problems of today and tomorrow, whilst enabling participants to build their own network of lean thinkers. We've got four key themes for the 2023 event. First one's the productivity challenge. Secondly, supply chain disruption. Thirdly, the environmental crisis. And then fourthly, lessons learned from COVID-19. Uh, and the principle of Kaizen runs through all of these. Uh, there are both keynote plenary sessions and learning sessions, uh, which you can tailor to your agenda. There are over 30 speakers from 15 companies, including uh, the Aramis Group, Iberia, uh, CSL Securus, uh, strategy Deployment, the NHS, uh, Tales, Technip FMC, Ecobat, and uh, of course, Toyota. Um, we're often told it's the best event of its kind. Uh, it attracts a very diverse audience. The last event had 160 people from 22 countries. Uh, we've four weeks to go. Um, we've sold out of quite a few of the workshops. We've sold out of the Toyota visit. And we've got about 20 places left for the main um, main summit. Our capacity is 160. So uh, I think we'll we'll get close to selling out. I'm not sure whether we will absolutely do that, but uh, there's not many spaces left. Um, before I hand over, we're each going to talk about about our um, our sessions that we're we're going to be running the day before the summit. Uh, before I introduce. Uh, hand over just some quick housekeeping um we'd like you to um ask any questions uh in the chat section of teams uh so type away in there and we'll all be watching that and we can uh, we can we can answer those uh given that there's only a few of us on the call then um uh, you know, we can uh, we can just do an open mic uh, as well. We're recording the session for those people who want to consume on demand. Uh, we'll edit the content so that only the slides and the presentation are in the recording and then people can get access to that recording afterwards. OK, so um, so let's get uh, let's get started. Um, Pete, do you want to talk through this or do you want me to do it? Yep, you, you do it, please. Yep. I'll, I'll do it. OK, right. So we've got four key, uh, four pre-summit masterclasses running on the 17th of February. That's Monday, the 17th. Um, the idea is that instead of one full day of each one of those, um, we've made them into half day sessions so that people can mix and match. Because we're, we're, we're really trying to, to give people an overview um, all of those materials, so, so all of those subject areas have got materials that are on our learning platform. So the, the one I'm doing, which I'll talk about in a minute, is, is the Lean Transformation Framework. Um, that's not sold as well as some of the others. So there's, there's, there's eight places remaining on the, uh, in the morning. There's nine places in the afternoon. Um, Dave Marriott's doing a session on pro effect, developing effective problem solvers. Uh, he's going to talk about that. There's only four places in the morning and two places in the afternoon remaining. Peter's doing a session on how to build a lean management system. It's sold out in the morning and there's only three places left in the afternoon. Um, what we thought we'd do is just go through each one of those four uh, and explain what we're trying to do. So before I hand over to uh, Dave, uh, this this is my one that I'm doing. Uh, we've just recently uh, put material on the Lean Transformation Framework onto the learning platform. We did that this week. Uh, we've already had 
several people gone all the way through the course and then said to us, and where's the next level? Um, but the, 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 the idea is that the, the, the Lean Transformation Framework really is addressing the issue that lots of people struggle to do lean well, um, to be effective at it. And what it really is, is several years ago, we started to do work on almost like the failure modes of what, of why people struggled. And John Shuckey eventually defined five failure modes and he turned those failure modes into questions. So there are five dimensions of the, of the framework five questions to ask yourself at a high level um, and those five deal with the key issues not all of the issues of why people struggle doing lean um, but these are the ones that you feel that you can do something about the tangible and um, uh, and you know get you into the into thinking better about what you're actually trying to do so what I'm going to do in the morning and the afternoon, it's the same thing morning and afternoon, is we've been over the last 12 months, maybe, uh, myself, Peter, Dave and John have been developing a teach poster for the Lean Transformation Framework. And that's the poster that you can see in the slide. And the idea is that I'm going to take you through at quite a pace, really, because you know, you probably need a full day to understand all of the elements of each one of the five dimensions and also then apply it to your own circumstances. But the idea is that delegates will be able to get an overview of all of the elements around the LTF. And then they'll also be able to start to think about how they can use those questions and apply the thinking of the lean transformation framework with their management teams internally so that they end up with better outcomes in the way that they're they're using um applying lean in in their in their in their organization so that's basically my um my, my session why did we develop the ltf why do we think it's important what it is and how it's useful for people in the in the in those organisations, right? Okay, so that's me done. Pete, no, it's me. Dave. It's me. Oh, Dave. Yeah. Dave, sorry, sorry, Dave. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. So the uh, masterclass um, that I'll be taking is basically around um, the process that we've developed and also used quite successfully around developing problem solving capability. Um, so. Referring back to Dave's uh, masterclass about the the LTF or the Lean Transformation Framework, if you look at that more closely, you'll see the the, the first question or the first dimension that um, uh, sort of John uh, Shook developed was really around what's our value driven purpose, but more specifically, what problem are we trying to solve? So clearly, we see problem solving as um, like the number one lean skill as it's kind of positions itself with the uh, with the first question of of making you change. So um, essentially what we'll uh, what we'll cover in the in the workshop is we see kind of learning as a process and a journey um, through a number of levels, which is shown in the the kind of flow chart there. Um, so from skill level one, which is acquiring some basic knowledge through to level two, um, which is developing some understanding around the subject. Um, Moving to level three, which is then <clears throat> sort of starting to demonstrate your capability uh, in applying that uh, that thinking way and then moving to level four where you can reach a point that you can sort of teach and coach others. So um, essentially what we'll do in the workshop is uh, move through these uh, these kind of four skill levels and share in terms of the the blended learning approach that we've uh, that we've developed either using some of the online materials or some of the face to face um, materials, the teach materials that we've got around teach posters and, and case studies. But firstly, uh, level one, which is, is the introduction around problem solving um, to give people some basic knowledge. So um, that kind of covers the purpose, process and people um, around problem solving. So that'll be the, the level one. Um, we'll then move through to level two. Um, 
which is around the, the kind of understanding phase and really how do we um, teach that and um, what materials do we use um, for problem solving? We use a, a case study. Um, so we'll be sharing um, the case study with you and actually getting you to do a, um, a step of the problem solving um, um, process that we're using the case study. So with the case study, you get a, an answer as well. And um, so we'll be able to compare uh, what your answer uh, that you came up with versus the, the one that we've developed. Um, so you get some understanding around um, using the, the process. Then moving through to level three is then how do we develop the capability? So how do we kind of coach people uh, through the problem solving activity? Um, how do we sort of ensure that people are um, achieving a good level? Um, not only in terms of solving the problem, but more specifically uh, following the process. So we have a, an evaluation method for problem solving, um, which we'll be uh, sharing out with you so that um, you've got some kind of yardstick really in order to understand how people followed the process sufficiently well enough in order to solve the problem. And also, um, you know, kind of what does good problem solving look like? Um, so that's the kind of the tryout phase. And then moving through to level four, um, which is really how do we go about teaching and coaching um, that, um, that subject matter? So how do we do that in terms of problem solving? Um, also in terms of the coaching, sort of what are some of the, the tips and behaviours and skills that you need around coaching to, to effectively develop others? So essentially that's what we'll be covering in the, um, in the session. So the morning and the afternoon will be uh, the same kind of session, moving through those four skill levels. Uh, and explaining the process that we've uh, that we've developed and successfully used. Um, people, so who can take this masterclass? Well, you know, people who are thinking about starting on their problem solving journey, um, but also, you know, people who are competent, but also seeking to develop others, um, you know, will be able to share that process that we've uh, that we've developed. So that's really developing effective problem solvers in a nutshell. Right. Hey. Over to Pete, I think now. OK, yeah, well, I'll be quick because there's only a few places left. So uh, so uh, management systems. So basically, uh, in connection to what Dave was talking about before on uh, the LTF, one of the questions relates to have we got the uh, what are the required uh, leadership behaviours and uh, activities that are needed to support the change? And uh, that's really developed through having a robust uh, lean management system. And that, that management system, when we look at management system, it's not just one thing. There's kind of two types of management system when you're thinking from lean thinking and practice. One is on the daily performance. So keeping the trains running today uh, on our key processes as they are today. And as we get problems, getting back to standard quickly. So that's our performance management system, and that takes everybody to be involved in that who's doing the work and the leader supporting that and uh, action in the problem solving to get back to standard. The other type of management system is uh, the improvement management system where we're going to uh, aim for a higher standard. So maybe you want to do something better or quicker or faster or more cost effective and we need to make an improvement. So we need to think about those activities, redesign our processes and take out waste and so forth to tackle that, to improve our processes. And we need a different management system for that activity to check on it, to understand it, to take people through the change of that. So we kind of divide our management system up into the two types and lots of companies mix those two up and confuse people. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and why you shouldn't do that. Uh, but more importantly, uh, you'll get an understanding of what those two types are. So during the workshop, we're going to go into, first of all, we're going to focus on performance management because uh, that's kind of misunderstood in Lean. A lot of people jump to doing improvement when they really haven't got a robust performance management system. So what we are going to do is focus on the performance management system first. And we've got uh, in our teach poster, we talk about five critical elements like there is in the transformation framework. There's five critical things you need to think about that makes a good performance situ uh, system for your situation. And of course, every situation is different. Every level in the organisation is different. Uh, what you need to review and how that connected is different. So we need to design a system for your situation and at your level and your area for your key processes. Uh, and we're going to talk about what those things are, what you should consider, what makes a good 
uh, performance system and then uh, assess against that and see what gaps you are and what you could do to improve that uh, to make a sustainable system. Uh, secondly, we're going to talk about uh, the, the uh, improvement system as well and how you go about uh, putting that in place with team members and how you cascade clear goals and objectives through the organisation and do bottom up planning to do that. So those are the things we're going to talk about in the, the master class. We're going to do that in a practical way. So we're going to use a teach poster, but we're actually going to do some practical exercises on the critical elements. Uh, and we're going to do uh, an assessment on your uh, performance management system. And we're going to discuss and see how that is. So hopefully we'll try and make it as practical as possible. Who is this for? It's for everybody at every level. We should all be reviewing our key processes for performance and we should all be working towards the improvement goals. So this workshop's kind of for everybody level. It's uh, it's fractal. The questions are fractal for a performance system, the same as overall improvement. So uh, anybody can come along and the principles are the same. They just need to apply it to their situation. OK, so yeah, let, let's open it up. What questions do you have? Any questions? We've got Laura, Mike, uh miguel uh teresa any questions put them in the chat if you want we'll go on the mic there's only a few of us so that'd be all right <clears throat> hi thank you for ask uh, at this moment uh, uh i don't have any ask oh, okay my, sorry my english is not the best but i <laughs> i understand well i think so <laughs> Thank nice you. meeting you anyhow. Thank you. Anybody? Right, well, I'll, I'll get you lot to act. To is, is that Michael asking a question, dude? Mm. He's on the I've got a faulty, faulty headset here with a button oh, wasn't on, working. Go on, yeah. you, need to touch, you need to get in touch with the IT department. Oh, no, it's <laughs> quite... <laughs> I say I'm I'm stuck with paperwork. <laughs> well, um, thanks guys. Yeah, very useful. We we get the train up Monday morning from London. Where is it? Is it at the um the, the site where the the, the it's summit at is? At the spine, yes. At the spine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we, yeah, we'll, just, we'll, spine. we'll arrive up there lunchtime or whatever, and there should be, you should have the four or five of us on there for Monday afternoon. Superb. Super. Right. Excellent. Thanks. Good to see you. Yeah. Yep. And June. Thank you. Thanks. OK, right. right. So uh, let's just um, let's just co cover off the, the, the other bits of logistics. So just a taster. Um, and if it's got you thinking, I, I know Mike, we'll see Mike anyway, but, but if it's got you thinking that the summit would be useful, uh, here's a bit more information. So um, pre-summit masterclass is the 17th of April. A half day is £160 plus VAT. A, a morning and afternoon is £300 plus fat. Uh, you're saving £20 by doing the morning and the afternoon. Uh, the summit, uh, we've kept the price at the same level as 2018. It's £960 plus fat, but group discounts are available. Uh, as I said at the in, in, during the intro, I think we've about 20 places left for the summit, and you saw how many places we've got left for the, uh, for the workshops. In terms of... Um, uh, on Thursday, we've a we've a um, a visit to the engine plant, the, the Toyota engine plant. But unfortunately, we're, we're completely oversubscribed with that. Uh, however, if you are interested, uh, if you drop us a line, we'll put you on a reserve list in case there is any um, any people that drop out. And then uh, in terms of the uh, the other stuff, uh, you might be interested in the online learning platform, uh, particularly if you're taking a course uh a masterclass um on the monday because there are materials relating to those courses to, to those masterclasses on the learning platform and the level one um activities on the learning platform are free so you know if you want to learn a bit more about kaizen or you want to learn about the lean transformation framework or the management system stuff or whatever uh, or problem solving, then if you if you have a look at the the free stuff, uh, that'll give you a good a good flavour and uh, and a bit of a foundation for um, for the actual um, masterclass. Um, we're adding more materials each month, um, and and we use a large proportion of the revenue that, from the platform to make 
more materials so that everybody can learn um how to create and deliver value better faster and cheaper whatever industry that you're in um and you might like to be aware that um uh, we we do a subscription which is all of that material um including the paid uh, courses you get access to all of that for 100 pound plus that which is 119 pound 99 a year um it works out at less than 10 pounds a month uh, and if you've got groups we, we've, we've now got a lot of companies that are on this um and where you've where you've got groups of people in teams or whatever wanting to do the stuff from uh, on the subscription um get in touch with us and, and we'll 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 show you what the what the sliding scale is the more people that you have on it the, the cheaper it becomes so uh, you can find out about all of that at leanuk.org forward slash subscription um and then last thing um uh, you know i hope you found this of interest um and of use um as we said it may, maybe hopefully we'll we'll see you uh on the 17th 18th and 19th of uh of april in um in liverpool and um yeah any questions on any of the above basically over over to you all and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for the latest lean content